Namaste Pure Divine Souls. Welcome to Pure Mindfulness. Today I will share you one real story. This is my experience. What is jealousy? How to overcome jealousy? Jealousy is a feeling but it's not a good feeling. You must overcome this jealousy. Okay, I will tell you the story. There are two friends. One is very educated. She completed her masters. And second one is not highly educated. She completed her 10th class, 10th standard. They are good friends. They are childhood friends. Highly educated girl had a job in small company. She is very talented, but she is not happy because she was not happy with her job because the job, the salary is very low. She is more talented than the job. She is over qualified for the job. The next girl, she was not highly educated. She completed just her 10th standard, but she got a government job. Her pay salary is very high to compare another girl. She is very happy because she got a government job and good salary and respect in society. She is very happy. But her friend, highly educated friend, not happy because she work hard, she study hard to get a good job in her life, but she did not get the good job. That's why she is not happy. They are friends. They are childhood friends, but now they are not good friends because one of girl highly educated girl was not happy highly educated girl jealous about her friend because she is not educated she is not talented but she got the government job why why <coughs> why i am not get qualified and great job this is her problem they are living in same area they see each other every day every day educated girl see her friend she was very sad. She was very depressed because how how she get the government job? Why? Why I am not get the job? I am study very hardly. I try very hardly. But why? I am very 
unlucky person. I have bad luck. She was not happy. She always complained herself. That's why she is not happy. Some days passed. Her frustration was very high. She was not talking her friend. She was not happy with her life. She was not talking to her parents. Her parents are very sad because their daughter's behavior. She always angry. She always irritated. The parents, why? Why my daughter always sad? What is the reason? They are not understand their children problem. Even she also know what why she always suffer she was also don't know and in her office she also face problems communication problems her colleagues also complaint against her she is very disturbing before job she is very healthy active and happy person and social socialized person she talk everyone she always have smile in her face but nowadays she is not happy after one year she was suffering with migraine pain headaches and some blood pressure issues day by day her health is worst she also face so many mental disturbances she is not happy with herself she always irritating mood she is not eat well she is not sleep well always tense always sad mood one of her friend is my student my classes meditation mindfulness classes attend her she suggest and she met few months back then i ask her what is your problem then she said no ma'am I am healthy in my childhood and in my young age. After my career starts and I got migraine pains, blood pressure issues, some other psychological issues. I am not happy with my life. I always said but I don't know why I am always sad anyone can any problem I don't know I don't know what's the problem I always feeling sad and lonely 
anyone can no one can love me my parents are not happy with me my colleagues always complain about me why i don't know ma'am i'm always sad i'm not able to sleep properly i have bad dreams i had bad dreams i'm not eat properly i don't know then okay i will tell her how to meditate what is mindfulness living and how to meditate mindfully try this it will help you then she ask me it is very simple but is it help me to overcome these problems yeah definitely i said then she asked me i am not able to do meditation every time i start meditate i am not concentrate what should i do i said just focus on your breath simply just for to do it for at least 1 minute same time and same place then she said okay it is very simple is it work out i said yes it is very simple but it is very powerful and very effective please try this daily then she tried 30 days just for 30 days four weeks after that she met me and she is very happy now what happened to her why she is very happy i asked her why are you happy where is your anger where is your depression then she said i realize myself where i am struggle in myself i always compare with myself with my friend this is my main problem i find my problem i always think why i am not get a good job why my friend had a good government job why she have a good salary that's why i always struggle with myself that is my main problem after one month of practice she is now free of her migraine pain she is totally healthy happy a new person she start a good relationship with her family and friends and colleagues the friends her friends and her colleagues and family members are very happy now because she changed herself she understand her problem and the important thing is she understand herself jealousy is like a slow killer jealousy is very very effective jealousy is not easy uncurable disease 
the only way is you find your worth low self confidence is one of the reason you are jealousy if you want to overcome jealousy understand yourself and you know your worth don't compare others everyone are unique everyone have different capabilities different talents for example a doctor he is very important he cure diseases he help people but he is not building bangla he is not built any sites because he is a doctor he do his job lawyers and teachers social workers politicians everyone students everyone have unique abilities trust yourself self love is the only way to overcome jealousy if you want to know your worth practice meditation daily practice at least 1 minute nowadays students jealous with their friends if one person is not educated well students think good marks and grades are the only criteria it will show you your capabilities this is not true education is important don't compare your marks your grades grades with your friends don't compare your children to other children don't compare yourself to others because everyone is unique meditate every day it will help you to find your own self your own strengths and your uniqueness meditation is very simple if you have any doubts please let me know in comment section i am very happy to help you wish you a happy new year live mindfully enjoy every moment in your life namaste thank you for watching